Hey, thanks for joining me for another episode of The Pursuit. I'm here with no one, but I'm glad you're here. Uh, we want to start our time off with an icebreaker, so this is going to be awkward by myself, but it's okay. Let's. Here's your question. What advice do you wish you could give to your younger self? What advice do you wish you could give to your younger self? Um, so just between you and I, uh, I believe that I would tell myself to be more patient. I think something as I look back, I think uh, trying to rush from one stage of life to the next and feeling like, man, if you know, almost like this hope of if I could get to this point, then everything will be all right. And this will fix my other problems. And, and so almost being impatient and many times trying to rush things along. And then you look back and you think, man, I really miss some, some good times there. Or I wish I'd enjoyed that a little bit more. And so trying to be more present in the moment. Uh, but take some time right now. Talk about it with your group. What advice would you give to your younger self? All right, well, last Sunday, Pastor Dwayne talked about being a family member, not just a family member of the family of God, but also the local church, the local body of believers, uh, and what that looks like for us. As we work through our HERE acronym together, we want to first start by looking at God's Word together. And so take some time right now and read Ephesians 2, 16 through 22. All right, now that you've read that on your own, uh, hopefully some stuff stood out to you, some things that you could apply. Um, take some time right now and just kind of share that with one another. As we read God's Word from our own unique perspectives, different things stand out to us. And so we get to learn from one another things that we may not pick up or see for ourselves. And so that's why this time is so important. So take some time right now and share what stood out to you. All right, now we're going to move on to the application part. We want to look at a few questions together, and our first question is this. How do you perceive the local church? What role does the local church play in your life right now? We believe that we were made for community, and as Pastor Dwayne pointed out, these one another's that we are to be towards one another, encouraging and uplifting, admonishing, uh, rebuking and uh, restoring, forgiving, all of these things. All of that is found in the community of the local body of believers, not just while you're here at church, but even as you live your lives in community. And so we want to talk about this together. What's your, how do you perceive the local church, and what role does the local church currently play in your life now? All right, our next question kind of looks at how the local church is supposed to encourage one another, um, and then point us back to God's Word. Again, as worshipers, we talked about we worship in spirit and in truth, and we believe truth is found most clearly in God's Word and who He reveals Himself to be. And so the second question is simply this. How has the local church protected you from a hard heart and encouraged you to listen to God's Word? And so as you've been a part of a local church, Hopefully, you have for yourself experienced some of those one another's where people have come alongside you. So share some of those right now of how it's helped you uh, protected from a hard heart, but then also encouraged you to listen to God's Word. All right, our last question is simply this. What are the biggest barriers that keep you from living in deeper Christian community? You know, on a Sunday morning when we get together, many times we can have a facade up. Uh, we can put on a face and just say what sounds good. Uh, we can ask one another just, hey, how are you doing? Good. And that's about it. But what does it look like to live in, as we think here at Salem is a, a top priority, one of our core values here, authentic community? What does that look like as a believer? And what are some of those barriers for you that keep you from living in that authentic Christian community with other believers outside of the walls of Salem here. Take some time right now. Talk about this with your group. Be a little bit vulnerable and share some of those barriers. Well, thanks for joining me for another episode of The Pursuit. You can always go back and watch past videos, but I think this one's the best. 
you can also go back and watch past sermon videos and click to subscribe so you get these immediately as soon as we upload them. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.